Today, the greatest risk of global catastrophe doesn't look like this. Instead, it looks like this. If anything kills over 10 million people in the next few decades, it's most likely to be a highly infectious virus rather than a war. Now, part of the reason for this is that we have invested a huge amount in nuclear deterrence. But we've actually invested very little in a system to stop an epidemic. We're not ready for the next epidemic. The failure to prepare could allow the next epidemic to be dramatically more devastating than Ebola. The best lessons, I think, on how to get prepared are, again, what we do for war. We need a medical reserve corps, lots of people who've got the training and background who are ready to go with the expertise. And then we need to pair those medical people with the military, taking advantage of the military's ability to move fast, do logistics, and secure areas. We need to do simulations, germ games, not war games, so that we see where the holes are. Finally, we need lots of advanced R&D in areas of vaccines and diagnostics. There are some big breakthroughs, like the Dino-associated virus, that could work very, very quickly. Now, I don't have an exact budget for what this would cost, but I'm quite sure it's very modest compared to the potential harm. The World Bank estimates that if we have a worldwide flu epidemic, global wealth will go down by over $3 trillion, and we'd have millions and millions of deaths. If we start now, we can be ready for the next epidemic. Thank you. So this is a serious problem. We should be concerned.